hi lovelies welcome back to my channel for those of you guys returning welcome for those of you guys that are new to my channel welcome my name is pinky we're gonna get into the monthly readings for the month of october 2022 for those of you guys that are new don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up anyways let's get into it let's see what's going on for capricorn sun moon rising and venus how are you doing capricorn are you guys excited the way i am <laughs> i'm so ecstatic this is the most favorite uh, time of the year for us as well as the busiest season so if you guys are interested in getting personal consultation spell work or any of the services we provide click the description box below you'll be able to find our online store all right let's get into it do you guys celebrate hollows eve if you guys do definitely comment below let me know what is it that your traditions or what is it that you guys have a tendency of doing on this time of the year all right, let's get into it. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, give us clarity, insight. Allow me to see clearly and concisely what is unfolding for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Allow me to see, hear, sense, view, and receive the messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month of October 2022. Give us four cards to represent Earth, Air, Fire, and Water for Capricorn. All right, let's get into it. In regards to your finances and career, Capricorn, you have the Chariot card. This is smashing goals. This is being able to attain, being able to see the results of your hard work and determination. Definitely being very empowered. This is dominant type of energy. In regards to your career and finances, there's going to be a boost or some type of elevation where you're at at this point in time at your job. So, if you've been trying to get that higher position, you've been trying to get a raise, now is the time to ask for it. Why? Because, again, the chariot is all about dominions. It is a very dominant card. It is about, you know, going towards it, not hesitating, being confident, trusting the process, and trusting yourself. So, again, definitely positive energy here. Now, in regards to your communication with the element of air, we have the Knight of Pentacles. For some of you guys, you may be communicating with another Earth energy. Uh, could be another Virgo, another Capricorn like yourself, or a Taurus. Now, for some of you guys, you've been waiting or holding on to the belief of wanting to hear from someone. Um, now, I say belief because it's coming on like waiting to hear from someone, wanting, hoping even praying for some of you guys, and it is finally happening. They are coming through. It is, I feel like it's been long in the making. So if there was a situation where there was a fallout or uh, communication had ended or there was some type of distancing happening, I see it finally coming in the in this month of October, uh, the communication coming. Um, but I feel like it's leaving you feeling like it wasn't what you were hoping for. So if this is in regards to a relationship, someone that you were dealing with in the past, where there was some type of giving each other some space, some time, some separating, whatever your situation is, and you've been wanting them to basically come back, I see them very, very much, um, I do see them coming back around and communicating with you, but I see them being very methodical, being very slow in the process of, like I said, if they're coming back, it's not like, okay, let's go back and let's jump into a relationship again. No, I feel like they're being very careful right now. And this could actually agitate you because you've been wanting or hoping to hear from them for a while. So my advice to that is don't put all your eggs in one basket, Capricorn, um, because it may not turn out the way you hoped it would. Now, in regards to the element of fire, in regards to... Uh, your challenge for this month is the Hierophant. So again, I feel like for a lot of you guys, especially Capricorns, you guys are not very much for newness, right? It's a bit of a challenge because you guys are creatures of habit. With the Hierophant, there is a need, okay? Because this is coming up in your challenged position. There is a need for you to detach yourself from anything that is keeping you from progress. This could be your beliefs, this could be self-limiting beliefs. This could be for those of you guys that are single and have a struggle finding a relationship or maintaining a stable relationship. It's releasing yourself from the ideology of maybe it's not in the cards for me. Maybe it's not meant for me. 
maybe it's not in the stars for me. What Spirit is telling you is that the fear of exactly that is what creates and continues to create your unfolding future. So you got to detach yourself from anything that you feel is affecting how you see either relationships. This could be business and career. If you've been working really hard and it just seems like you can't get off the ground, you can't get out of the hole that you're in. You got to really ask yourself, what is it about you that you feel is holding you back? And don't give me that of it's karma because of what I've been through. It because of maybe I mistreated some people in the past and maybe that's why I cannot stabilize a relationship. All of this has nothing to do. I'm hearing these are excuses and they're so engraved in your mind, Capricorn, that it keeps you stuck in that same cycle. So you need to burst out of that cycle. The chariot is here to tell you. Whatever it is that you're trying to make happen, you're able to make it happen and you will possess it. But the chariot is a card, as you guys can see here. He is basically dominating the horses, not with any, you know, links, not with any ropes, not with any attachment other than his will. So. It's the same thing as wanting to achieve whatever it is that you're trying to do, whether it's manifesting a long term committed relationship, whether it's staying in a long term committed relationship, whether it's, you know, becoming successful or attaining more growth and stability or your finances, whatever it is that you're trying to achieve that you fear you're not able to make happen or perhaps it's not meant for you because in the past you've been shown many times that it just doesn't work out. The chariot is here to tell you whatever it is, the moment you decide this is what I want and I am worthy of it and I deserve it and be unapologetic about it is the moment that it starts to happen for you. Why? Because you haven't seen the full manifestation or the full power of your manifestations because you're connected to limiting beliefs. Okay, so if anything, take from this reading, you're capable of doing whatever it is that you want to make happen. Why? Because if it wasn't meant for you, Capricorn, you wouldn't even acknowledge it. You wouldn't even want it. You, it wouldn't even be in your mind. And because it is, there is something within you, a higher version of you that has already attained it. So all you have to do is know without a doubt that you deserve it and you will see things change drastically for you. Now, in regards to the element of relationships, emotions, we have the Ten of Wands. So again... There is a limiting belief here that is happening that is holding you back from progress, that is holding you back from moving forward, that for some of you guys, it could be responsibilities. It could be that you keep telling yourself, well, you know, I will finally be able to get that house I always wanted when I don't have so many responsibilities or I will finally get that long term relationship or even marriage Um when I have all my, you know, all my life in order or whatever the situation is, it's like carrying on other people's responsibilities. You have to learn to put yourself first, Capricorn. You have to learn. To, you deserve to be happy. You deserve to be successful. And I don't need to tell you that. You need to believe that within yourself so that you can finally see the, the complete turnaround of what it is that you've been trying to make happen. But there is fear that you will never attain it. Spirit is telling you, you have all the power to attain it, all the power to create or manifest that, but you have to believe in yourself, Capricorn. Stop being so harsh on yourself, Capricorn. All right, what is Spirit's final message for Capricorn here? Final message for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. And we have rest and rejuvenation. Meditation, I highly encourage you guys to do meditation visualizations really get to the root of the fear of attaining it. I always ask clients, do you fear success? And everyone always tells me no, but then we get to the nitty gritty of things and they realize that deep down inside them, they always felt like perhaps it wasn't in the cards for them, like I said, or there was something that was holding them back. So my advice to you guys is to do meditation, to be clear and concise on what it is that you want and decide 
that you will attain it and you will attain it, Capricorn. All right, my lovelies, I want to wish you guys the very, very best and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.